Welcome back everybody to Mario Kart, the Mario Kart special, I nearly said Mario Kart the series or something, but it kind of technically is in a way. In the last part, we had an interesting four races where the positions were constantly changing in the grid. Uh, Waluigi managed to seek redemption on Daisy by actually stealing a win on her home turf. But Daisy did actually score two victories in a row and closed that gap a bit and actually did secure first place on the leaderboard by two points, but it only lasted for one race. Where Waluigi actually did steal the victory on Daisy Circuit and reclaimed the lead by three points soon afterwards. But anyway... Focusing aside on that now, we're doing the next four bases. Let's see what the first one is. Okay, gotta feed those piranha plants lots of water on this devastating raceway. This is the Mario Raceway of the Nintendo 64. You can tell by those low polygons of the audience in the stands there. Now, this was actually the very first race we actually did in the failed recordings of the Mario Kart tournament the first time yesterday. But, we're not going to be too focused on about that now, as Waluigi's first item is the three, uh, the golden mushroom. Immediately going to be speeding on the grass because he does not give a damn. And he's even going over the sand as well. But he slowed down significantly because of being on the grass for too long. Baby Mario is actually tailgating him slowly. But Waluigi is, of course, keeping it nice and cool, nice and calm, going around the bends in a nice tight angle. Oh, access denied for Baby Mario there. Tried to get a fast shot red shell on him. But he was unforgiving Waluigi by blocking it with a banana. Unfortunately, though, he had to cut the corner onto the grass to avoid his own trap. <laughs> and Diddy Kong tried to tag Waluigi with the Thundercloud, and Waluigi was like access denied once again, and gave it right back. Oh, well, bumped right into the piranha plant, Waluigi was, as he's going to get redemption on Bowser, as Bowser is attacking the baby form of Mario. Speaking of Mario, there he is, right over there. Okay, Waluigi's uh, wheelie was interrupted by Bowser Jr. there. Okay, going across the grass once again, Waluigi is in Mega Mushroom mode. And he's going to take this. Well, as he's going to say, he's going to take the chance of using the um, Pal Block to throw a green shell to hit Baby Mario. And he was going to hit Baby Mario with a red shell, but then too many opponents actually overtook him, affecting his plan. And Daisy took both item boxes, preventing Waluigi from getting his final item, whatever it could have been. I bet it would have been a blooper. As he's forced to take 7th place, but 2nd place Daisy actually finished in 11th place. So, whatever happened there, I have no idea. And Mario actually got his very first win of the whole entire competition. But it doesn't really help him at all since he is technically in 6th place. But technically he was in 7th place previously. Alright, next race, off we go. The very standard board of a character that everybody loves to take crap on. It's under Luigi's Circuit. And when I say everybody loves to crap on him all the time, I actually am serious. Every Mario and Luigi RPG game, Luigi gets given a lot of BS all the time. Even worse, because Luigi isn't even in the competition here. And this actually is a very standard, basic uh, racing course, actually. Could be useful at Formula 1 stage, except Formula 1 does not exist in the Mario universe. 
Right. Going to be firing a red shell forward to hit Bowser Jr. But he had three bananas. So he was able to block it. Mario tried to steal the item. But Waluigi was just too fast for him. And Bowser Jr. is actually got a pretty good lead. Oh, has he been given a mushroom in first place? Alright, taking the shortcut over there. And Bowser Jr. actually fell for his own banana. I'm pretty sure Bowser Jr. was actually given a mushroom in first place. Because he couldn't have actually taken that jump shortcut without one. Oh, come on! Go figure that I get given a blue shell the very second I overtake Bowser Jr. Ah, oh, baby Mario! I hate it when it does that. The fact that... Oh, so I get given a little blue shell even though Daisy was still crossing the finish line. <laughs> Yeah, they, the AI loves to attack me with blue shells these days. But as I was saying, I hate it when I do a wheelie in this game and then they take a gentle touch from a character and you like shake around all over the place and you lose all your momentum. I hate that. But, what other side? We're approaching the desert with the angry sun watching in the background. He's going to be dropping Puddle Boos here in the DS Desert Hills. Well, when I say Puddle Boos, I actually mean Lava Snakes, but still. And this stage actually has very, very tight corners in the end of the course before you cross the finish line. And can I please stop being attacked? Okay, going across the Pokey Pummels. One of which has been given the Thundercloud and the Red Show actually slowing him right down. Successfully tagging Wario just before he gets electrocuted. And then adding his other injury for Wario, he got starred. Oh, what are we... Oh, two Thunderclouds in a row! Here, Daisy, you can have it. And then have a red shell for it, then adding his order injury. There you go, Toad. Oh, come on! Okay, we get given another item. It is a speedy mushroom. That is actually very handy for those tight corners. Even though the uh, manual drifting with the bike can actually do really good against this area. Except I completely botched it up. Oh, Baby Mario has been given a thundercloud. Let's pass it over to the race leader of Bowser Jr. And that red shell was actually targeted for Waluigi. But Waluigi forced it to go to the Baby Mario instead. As he's now taken the lead. Thanks to Baby uh, Bowser Jr. I keep wanting to call him Baby Bowser. Because that's what he's called in Mario Party 6. Which is what we did last. Before Robot Wars Extreme Destruction. Before then doing this. Ah! I'll get you yet yeah, Baby Mario. Come on. Actually, that actually might be a blessing in disguise, actually. No, it didn't matter. Baby Mario got the win, followed by Bowser Jr., followed by me. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Well, wow, apparently Daisy's having a really bad run this time. I mean, she's actually finished in the bottom three two times in a row. And that lead has actually increased to 15 points now. Alright, let's see what the next race is. See if, um, see if Daisy actually has a better one on that one. Oh. 
Everybody's grumbling, moaning, and argumentative attitude has led them over here towards the Grumble Volcano. Yeah, I'm not serious. When somebody acts in a negative manner, they do tend to grumble a lot. Okay, starting off with the jump for everybody, Waluigi takes a very early lead. This stage just has some very tight corners. Based on the fact that most of the track has actually been burnt down because of the uh, magma inside the volcano, which they're actually driving in, which I have no idea why they've been programmed to do that. But that's the way how Nintendo likes things, apparently. They like things to the extreme. As Daisy, who's actually had a very terrible run, is having an even more terrible run as she takes a red shell to the butt by Waluigi, who's been given a thundercloud, who's going to be taking full advantage of this by cutting corners. Of course, he will be taking the um, thundercloud, because there's no way he can actually pass it on to anybody. It has put him down to sixth place. But with Wario driving into the um, pillar of the finish line. <laughs> oh, what? Wait, wait, Baby Daisy was given a. Hang on, she. I'm pretty sure Baby Daisy actually hit an item box, then got electrocuted. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. So she shouldn't have been given an item box then. But anyway, we got given another blue shell that's going to hit Baby Mario. Did they actually put Baby Mario in the pit? No, he did not. But we went in the pit. Daisy's actually in first place. Will that last? Or will something terrible happen? Oh, just as I was about to say. But uh, Dry Bones actually fires a blue shell to hit Daisy. Just before she actually activates one of the jumps. So she is... Oh, she actually fell in. She actually fell in. Speaking of falling in, that's what Wario is doing right now. Wow, Daisy's being hit like crazy now. Alright, we're on the final lap now. Wario, uh, Wario, I have no idea what Wario is doing, but uh, Mario is ahead of Waluigi in fifth place. Bowser Jr. Oh, synchronized death between Diddy Kong and Mario. Speaking of baby Mario. He's been given the thundercloud. And Daisy is still in second place. But that can all change. Waluigi being given three speedy mushrooms, boosting right into a tree. Then again, he, his screen is actually blurred out, so he can't technically see where he's going. He gets given a red shell to attack Daisy. Unfortunately, it didn't hit her in time. Toad gets the blue shell, and Waluigi's just like, Good guys, don't look at explosions. Except Waluigi's not really a good guy, so he should have really looked at the explosion. <laughs> no, 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 seriously, no. Daisy managed to get first place. She's actually close to gap a little bit, but Waluigi finished in second place to make sure that she only nailed it down by three points. Let's see what our next race is going to be. In the next part. <laughs> Sorry, I, had, I wanted to do that. It's like, okay, what are we going to find out about the next stage? We'll find out after the break. Join us in the moment to see if Daisy can actually close that gap even more to reclaim that first place spot for the third time in the competition. See you guys in a moment.